gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. YouTube, what's good, baby? It is Saturday show day. Nah, but hey, we reached the final day of our peak week practice, our peak, uh, peak week simulation. If you guys don't know, you already know. I did a trial run, right? So I was three weeks out last Saturday, and I just went ahead and jumped into a peak week just to see how my body would react to a front load type of carbon up, right? So I pretty much consumed all my carbs at the beginning of the week, about 500 carbs on Monday, and I slowly tapered it all the way down until today. So yesterday was pretty much, uh, no, Thursday was like zero to no carb, and then yesterday, Friday, which would be the day before the show, I just jumped it up to about 150, and today is show day, basically. So what happened was, and I'll let you see the pictures on the screen, when I started the peak week, well, let's go ahead and jump into last Saturday, a week ago. So last Saturday, a week ago, I was 184 pounds. Today, I woke up at 185.8 pounds, okay? So you can see the differences right there on just a weekly basis and how this front load affected me uh, with my physical appearance, you know, my physique. So now jumping into the practice. On Monday, the day one of the peak week, I was 185 pounds. And then, like I said, today I am 185.8. So in the course of an entire peak week, I managed to maintain weight, increase it just a bit, but also change just a little bit. And if you look at the screen, I'm showing you comparisons of posing on the day one and then posing on the final day, which is show day. So, and this is also fasted, of course. Both times are fasted, you know, only BCAAs uh, and water. So, you can see the difference. So, you can assess for yourself and you can see whether or not the peak week was effective. Me, personally, I don't really think it was that effective simply for the fact that I am holding on to too much fat. So, you can see it inside the video, you, you can see the fat that I'm holding on to. Now, of course the lighting might take away from some of that and you might think I'm like, I'm super lean or whatever. But the truth of the matter is I'm just not, you know, I'm not super lean. I'm definitely not where I want to be. But like, as you see, three weeks out is on the left and two weeks out is on the right. So there is a lot of time left in this prep. Well, sorry, there's not a lot of time. I can't believe I just said that. We only have 14 days until show day. It's right around the corner. But we still have a little bit of fat burning time left in us. So we can still burn a little bit more fat, come in just a little bit more shredded, which is ideal, man. This is exactly what we want. We want to come in shredded. And personally, I just wasn't shredded enough for this peak week simulation. I did get to see how my body reacts to certain things and I did get to learn a little bit about myself and I didn't like it, you know? So I didn't like how I went 500 carb, dropped it down to about 375, I think. Then I dropped it down to about 250. Then I dropped it down to zero. Then I increased it a little bit to about 100, 150. And now we have show day. I don't like that method, okay? Well, sorry. The method is a great method and I do recommend it. And it's more beneficial to somebody who's lean and who needs that carbon up effect. I don't think that I will need to carve up for the show. What I mean is, I don't think I will need a full carb load process for the show. I can pretty much eat the same, treat my diet regular, just go about it the same way I've been going about it for 14 weeks. And then maybe even the night before a show or just the day before a show, consume some carbs. Probably not even then. I probably will only need to carb up before I hit the stage, you know, throw some carbs in my body and my body's gonna react super good as it's been doing throughout this entire prep. Every time I throw carbs in, it just get a little better, look a little better, get a little bit more tighter. So I'm not gonna do anything drastic. I just don't think I just, I don't think I need to do anything crazy 
as far as a front load or back load of carbon. And with the back load of carbon, of course, you know you deplete yourself about three days and then you carve up for three days. My body doesn't need that. Mainly because I probably won't be as shredded as I want to be leading up to the show. That's just, I mean, you gotta face the fact, you know? You can, do, you can do two things when you don't think you're ready. You can just make the best of it and do what you need to do to bring yourself in the best that you can, or you can just pick a different date, do a different show, and then come in like you wanna come in. So for me, I'm not gonna not do the show. I've gotta do the show. This show is something I've been trying to do since January. I've been prepping for this. So of course, it's all based down, it's all based off of what I did prior and how my off season was. Uh, off season didn't go too well for the simple fact that it was the holiday time and I was consuming a lot of beer, binging on a lot of foods, just doing whatever, you know, those few months leading up to January, of course, because you got Thanksgiving and then right after that you got the holidays, which is Christmas. Of course you're gonna enjoy yourself. And then now you jump into prep in January. So depending on how lean you are before your prep, it's going to determine how your prep goes, what you need to do, how you need to diet, how much cardio you need to do, and how you're gonna look on show day. So that's all my, that's all my issue, you know? So, and I know that, but I just don't feel that I would need to carve up for the show. But we will see when that time comes, guys. We will see. But I just wanted to show you guys how I'm looking at the end of the peak week and tell you how it went and tell you my thoughts on the whole front load for carving up for the show, whole back load for carving up for the show. And hence, and it comes down to the simple fact that you don't necessarily need to do it. It's not recommended for everybody. Some people need to continue to burn fat all the way up until show day. And some people will be super lean and ready for some carbs and they will benefit more from that carb load. So you need to make sure you're coming in super lean if you want to reap those benefits. So today we are two weeks out from the show, 14 days away, man. Super crazy, super crazy. This is going to be about a 10, uh, this is going to be about a 14 week prep. We are currently on our 12th week of dieting. Finished up our 12th week of dieting. We got a 13 week and then we got a 14 week, man, coming up. So I'm excited to go ahead and finish this thing off, man. Been dieting for so long, I'm just ready to eat some good food. like. Just chill at the table and just binge. Yes, I will binge for a night. <laughs> but anyways, that's gonna conclude the peak week. Hope you guys learned something. Comment below if you did. Let me know what you think. And I will check back with you guys later. You too, good morning, happy Easter few things for the day. Uh, I, I will be getting a cheat meal. Today is Easter, so we're going to a brunch at one of my friend's house, right? And we got breakfast. So probably gonna be a lot of non-healthy options on the menu. So I am gonna dibble and dabble just a bit. And if it's super good, I'm gonna go in. If it's not super good, you know, if it's not like, you know, too satisfying, I guess. I'm just gonna dibble and dabble, get a little taste here, get a, find the healthiest options and just eat accordingly. And then later on, probably around lunchtime, maybe even dinner time, uh, me and the wife and kids, we're gonna go grab maybe a burger or something like that. Cause you know, for me, this whole entire prep, burgers have been my go-to cheat meal, just because you know, you get the fatty beef, you get a little piece of the bread action. I'm not gonna do fries today. I might do a small fry cause I'm going to a certain place, my wife was like, you have to get a fry if you go there. It's a Whataburger. And I have not had a meal at Whataburger, I think ever, really, to tell you the truth. So we're gonna try it out. It's real popular in Texas. But we're gonna do that. And so that will be my cheat meal for the day. Uh, yesterday we hit 14 days out. Today is 13 days out. Two weeks out, people. Wow, like, this, it's crazy, man. We've been dieting since January 8th. It's draining, I'm telling you, this last crunch is draining. Uh, a few changes, uh, you guys know I'm doing 
uh, the upper body, lower body type of split. So I'm gonna be training more frequently. So I will be dropping the cardio just a little bit, you know, so originally it was 70 minutes. Now we're around 50 to 60 minutes. The hit, the hit actually has, you know, washed away just a little bit too. Maybe five minutes here, five minutes there. Uh, trying to incorporate more sauna whenever I can. It's not the easiest, but I, I try to get it in at least 10 minutes prior to my workout and it's actually been working pretty well. So uh, doing that, uh, what else? Uh, you already know the artificial sweeteners are out. Uh, I cut those out a while ago, except for the, I guess the artificial sweeteners that are within like the sugar-free condiments that I use, you know, things like that. So that's that. Uh, Protein, you know, the protein is up around 250 plus. I, mean, I, don't, I usually don't take it past 270, but about 250. I want to get a lot of protein in. Uh, probably not necessary, but that's what I'm doing and it's working. Uh, carbs are, for this week, we're going to keep the carbs around 150 range, you know, playing around in that area. So 150 to 200. Based off of look, you know, because sometimes I might throw in a little bit more carbs because the more frequently I train, the more carbs I will most likely need, simply the fact that I'm burning a lot, my heart rate is gonna be uh, super, super high for a majority of the workouts, you know, so throughout the day. So I might need a little bit more carbs. Uh, what else are we doing? Posing like crazy, right? So I'm getting a lot of posing in. It's, it's, it's getting to the wire, you know, and this posing is going to determine whether or not I come out on top, man. I gotta be able to show off the physique. I'm getting a lot of tips, especially from my friends on uh, Instagram. I like the fact that a lot of the guys that I, you know, uh, that I know and follow are in this whole NPC, men's physique, maybe bodybuilding type of environment as well. And so they have a lot of knowledge, you know, and I want to soak all that up as best I can. So that's what I'm doing. And you know, they're just giving me pointers, tips here and there, because I'm posting. I'm going to post the pictures, I'm going to post some videos on Instagram, just to keep updating you guys and showing you guys like progress. And that's mainly for the guys and the people who are not on my YouTube channel, who are not you guys, because you guys are the real MVP. You guys are supporting me. Uh, I love it, man. It's crazy. You know, it's crazy. I started the channel in 2015. I should be all the way at the top, but I took a break. I relaxed. YouTube is not a priority for me. You know what I mean? So uh, I got the family. I got two kids. I got a wife. I got a career. I got I to gotta pay the bills, man. So I can't really just be vlogging or recording on my workouts and I took a lot of time off but I'm back trying to give you guys as much content as possible hope you guys are learning something uh, this show right here is going to be our starter show and from there we're going to go to the NBC stages and we're pretty much going to try to go pro man I mean that's what other reason do you have to be competing, man? You want to be a professional. You want to be able to be at that top level. So that's what the goal is. You know, I told my wife that uh, yesterday. She was like, oh, I can't wait till you're done. You can stop waking up at five o'clock because you're waking everybody up. But I told her uh, after the show, we got to get right back to it, man. It's like, there's really no, no breaks, you know? So she was like, oh man, do I really want you to win? Because if you win, that means you're going to keep going, keep going. But anyway, so that's that, man. We're taking it all the way. Uh, this is going to be the lifestyle, man. I'm, I'm going to juggle it all. I'm going to juggle the family. I'm going to juggle work. And I'm going to juggle fitness, man. That's just what it is. So like I said, posing is getting is getting serious, you know. I, I'm getting it in, I'm getting as much posing as I can, you know, and I'm just utilizing my time. So I did get a, uh, a nice, good 45 to 50 minute workout in here this morning. It's currently seven o'clock. I got here at about 5.15. Um, was able to get some cardio in, was able to get some, a workout in. And then today we're gonna eat accordingly and we're also gonna get a cheat meal. So I'm feeling good about today. Uh, like I said, today is Easter. We're actually gonna go to church in about two hours. So I'm gonna finish up some, a little bit more posing, uh, hit the triceps just a little bit more. And then I catch you guys later. Now y'all know I had to go get a new coffee maker. There's no way I was going without it. So we got rid of the old one. Now we got this new one right here. We can throw some curry cups in here if we wanted to too, but I mainly use ground coffee. Last cheat meal of prep going down two weeks out. We got a patty melt from Whataburger. So we got the toasted 
toasted bread right here. We got two patties. We got cheese. A lot of mayo, I guess. Oh, here we go. That's melted cheese, my bad. Patty melt, of course. And then we got their special sauce right there. We got some onions. We got bacon. I put three slices of bacon on there. As you see the bacon coming out. I also got two carrot cake, small little uh, cookie type things. Only got a little bit of fries right here. I don't really want a lot of fries. Got my lemon water right here, ice water. And this is the last cheat meal, man. We're going full, full beast mode the last two weeks. So I'm gonna get my last one in, and I'm gonna call it quits. So let me go ahead and enjoy this, and I'll check back with you guys later. Hey man, it's starting right now, man. It's starting, man. My wife is giving me a lot of shit for constantly being in the gym. She getting stressed out, man. I'm eating too clean for her. I'm in the gym all the time. She wants a one-on-one -on -one time. Cause I usually dip out, like I'm dipping out right now. I put the kids to sleep. You know, it's nap time for them. And now it's time for me to go hit the weights, you know? And she's like, why we can't have one-on-one -on -one time when the kids go to sleep and just relax and talk you know so i'm dealing with that now 13 days out i told her i said you know what i'm gonna look out for you i mean she know i'm gonna look out for her. that's what it is i mean that's what happens you know your, your family members they kind of kind of get pushed to the back when you're doing this whole contest prep thing because you're so focused on the final goal you're just so focused that you give it your all, you know? I mean, if you do anything in life, you want to give it your all. And that's why it's just not simple for people with families. It's not that simple, you know? But it can be done, man. You just gotta, you just gotta find that balance. And uh, I haven't competed since 2014, man. So I really don't have that balance right now. I mean, I'm trying my best, but I really gotta start, you know, giving her uh, her time, you know, one-on-one -on -one time taking time away from the gym now what that means is you might need to take on a longer prep you might need to diet for longer so you can have those relaxed days to you know chill out right now you know it's just crunch time for me i don't have no chill out days i just got my cheat meal in you saw that and now i'm headed to the gym you know because like i said i'm focused so it's like i gotta hit these weights i gotta keep my body you know uh, active that's just the kind of things you deal with when you have, you know, when you have a significant other uh, or even have kids. Kids are, you know, the younger they are, the easier it is f for them. I mean, they don't really understand, you know, that you're in the gym and all that kind of things like that. But when it gets, when the kids get older, I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty tough because they also need that parent love as well. So, like I said, balance is everything. But yeah, so April 15th, which is Sunday, the day after the show. It's all her, man. One on one, all her. We're just gonna just relax, eat all the foods that she likes, you know. <laughs> We're just gonna chill out, man. So April fifteenth, gotta look out for her. On my way to the gym, it's the upper body day. We gotta go in here and kill it. Gotta go in here and go straight beast mode. So a few things I got with me. Of course, I got some BCAAs in here for my workout. I got my water jug with me, riding shotgun. And I'm also sipping on some coffee for the pre-workout. So, I might not record. Oh, another thing I'm doing, I'm not really tracking my workouts anymore. Before I was writing down every rep, writing down every set. I'm not doing that anymore. So, when I go in the gym, I'm like completely focused on the weights, completely focused on the mind-muscle connection, and I'm not really picking up my phone to log any uh, any reps, any sets anymore, you know, I'm, not, I'm just not doing that, you know, I'm constantly moving, I'm doing super sets and drop sets, so that's what it is, so I'm, I might not be on here giving you guys every workout, and I might not be on here telling you guys every rep or every set I did, because I just won't remember, you know, that's why I was writing stuff down, so I can let you guys know how many sets I was doing, how many reps I was doing, so that's something I'm not doing anymore, and as far as recording goes, if I see a prime opportunity for me to get a nice video clip, I will do that. But other than that, I'm not really gonna be chasing down certain spots to make sure I get it on film, you know? 
This is more so me getting in here, putting the final touches on, me getting in here, getting the work done, me not being distracted, you know? So I'm gonna put the headphones on, I'm gonna get to work. Oh yeah, creatine. So do I need it? Not really. So I cut it out, right? So I'm getting rid of the creatine. I'm trying to get rid of anything that is going to cause me to hold on to any extra water. No water retention. That is the goal. Um, I'm not lean as I want to be, which means I need to maximize in some other area. So I just need to completely rid myself of any extra water. I'm still getting in two gallons a day, but the creatine, I had to cut it out.